The winner of this year's Super Bowl is the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City, Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs. Mahomes goes for it right away, wide open. Kelsey, who else? Taking off inside the 20. Nine seconds to go. First and goal. Mahomes flings it. It's there! Hartman! Jackpot! Kansas City! <laughs> Didn't think that was going to work. Now, did my neural network know that the Super Bowl would go into overtime and that my Chiefs over 24 and a half bet would be satisfied in said overtime and that the 49ers didn't understand the overtime rules at all? That's debatable. But statistics show that I predicted the future with 70% accuracy. 70% is more than 66% because my over 24 and a half was actually an underdog bet. And in modern market theory, we only need to be correct around 53% of the time to make money. And we've been making money. Now we can go through specifically what led to me winning this bet and the fact that I was profitable in numerous weeks beforehand betting on the NFL. Back in December, I built a neural network that predicted the score of each football game and subsequently who would win each football game. You should go watch that video because it kind of just sets everything up I have here and I put a lot of effort into it, please. I then used said machine learning model that I created to bet on the last week of regular season football games and every week of playoff games leading up to Super Bowl 58. For each game, I bet on the outcome via a Moneyline bet and then on each individual team using an over-under. Overall, I placed 54 bets on odds that pretty much evened out throughout the length of the experiment. I won 33 of them, and that equals a 61% win rate. Personally, this is very impressive considering I calculated the win rate that I thought I would have at the beginning to be 59%, and I beat that by 2%. Not only did I win relatively longish term, but I was able to predict the amount that I would win at the beginning, and the numbers kind of came out to prove that. Um, kind of like Babe Ruth calling his shot to center field, and then hitting it to center field. Over this period of time, around six weeks, I was able to appreciate my DraftKings investment account by 30%, or 5% per week. To put this into perspective using compound interest, if you were able to invest $1,000 into this algorithm and do it year round, you would be a millionaire in a little under three years without putting any other money into it. Quick side note, if you ever feel like you've wasted money on something, just know that I spent $40,000 to go to college to learn accounting and math, and I still had to Google the compound interest formula, so don't, so don't ever feel bad to Google things. So why can't we do this year round? Well, football season's only four months long. And more importantly, if you are actually winning that much, the sportsbook will limit your account to placing bets in the range of single dollar wagers. And this sadly isn't illegal because DraftKings is a private corporation, and as an American citizen, I'm obligated to say that capitalism is an unflawed system. However, we'll cross that bridge when we get there because it actually requires us keep winning, and I'm not entirely sure that this isn't just random luck. I plan on running this simple machine learning model on the entirety of the NFL season next year, and spoilers, one that's very similar on the MLB. There's a few things I want to change first, though, and I'm going to go through them. The issue that primarily eats at me is in relation to the win neural network. I was unable to make it train on more parameters than five, which basically means that the entire time I've been trying to calculate who's going to win a football game, it's only been using QB stats and no defensive ones. That's kind of a huge problem, but it's been pretty successful regardless. The other thing that we needed to do is make sure that the neural network uses the data from the past 20 years. I've only been using the past three years of football season data, and there's a reason why. Over the years, the average score of a football game has increased sizably, which means if I use 2001 NFL season data to predict games in 2023, it would heavily skew it to the downside. And my plan to solve that is basic averaging and normalization, which you would think is pretty simple. I just didn't have the time or the motivation to do it this time around. Aside from that, I think the next logical step to making these neural networks better is to add more parameters, but you're gonna need to wait until next season to see what I do there because I'm not even sure yet. I'm also planning on making entirely new models for individual player stats as well as other types of wagers in game, like how many interceptions there are or how many rushing touchdowns there are. But that just depends on how lazy I am, which could be very. And so yeah, I pretty much just made this video to make sure that everyone saw my betting model and that maybe I'm onto something. The source code will be in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next season.